Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Rob Dalla, back with another fucking vid. I'm back, motherfuckers. Nah, but look, man. Today I'm bringing you guys the uh, supposedly authentic, authentic Yeezys. No, I'm not promoting nothing. I'm not telling you to buy these shits. But I'm just going to go over the shits. You dig what I'm saying? Before I do all of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Say your dollars. We love what you're doing. Make sure if you're new to the channel that you subscribe. I told you, as soon as I get my hands on these, I will be bringing you guys a video. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ben Reps. He purchased these and he let me see them. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I want to compare the receipts and stuff. That Nike sign is that the one in the, the big Nike sign is the receipt that came with the Yeezys. The actual Nike receipt feels a little bit thicker, but uh, yeah, it's definitely off. Like the fonts, everything is definitely off. So if you know your Nike receipts, you won't get screwed over. You dig what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, let me see. Let's check out the other side of the receipts. The bottom one is the authentic receipt, the top one is supposedly authentic Yeezy receipt. It's longer than the receipt that uh, comes from Nike, the actual receipt. So if you're smart, if you know your Nike stuff, if you know your shoes, you won't get scammed with the receipt. Now, the shoes, on the other hand, I'm not too educated on Yeezys and nothing like that. I'm not a fan of the shoe. Wish I would have had them, copped them from Nike so I could have flipped the fuck out of them. Because you know them, they go for a lot of money. But uh, let's take a look at the Yeezys. And this is the shoe. First thing I notice is this is definitely a lot pointier than anything I've seen, especially on these shits. These are pointy as hell. And uh, give me a few seconds. I'm going to give you more shots of different parts of this shoe. Oh, yeah. Another thing. I noticed one thing about the Yeezys, the retail version. The box right here is not cut like that. You see how it's cut? It's not actually cut like that. That's. I noticed that a lot of the boxes were different but i noticed that the a lot of boxes came with this squared off instead see how it circled the actual box came squared off i've noticed that this is definitely not cut right it's supposed to be squared off instead of circle see how it circle it's supposed to be shaped like a square or a rectangle you feel me but uh these are the yeezys supposedly authentic Comment down below. Let me know how you feel. Let's take a look at this shoe from a d another another angle. So are these authentic or are they just, you know, some real good monkeys? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but I'm going to have detailed images at the end of this video. I'm going to have both Nike retail and China re uh, authentic. I'm going to have Nike authentic and China authentic. And you guys down below comment and tell me if these are indeed authentic. I'm going to have pictures of the receipts and all that. And you guys tell me. Yeah, the, the bottom does glow in the dark though. These things are definitely pointy. Very pointy. Indeed. That's the Nike sign up close. So you can see the Nike sign. See that? Like I said, I'm going to have uh, detailed pictures of the interior of the shoe. Without without the sole, I'm gonna have pictures of the sole. I'm also have retail versions as well. Pictures, detailed pictures, and you guys tell me are these authentic or not. Me personally, it ain't worth what I paid for these to do this review for you guys. Well, not what I paid, but what the reviewer play, paid to for me to do this video for you guys. And uh, yeah, man, I, I'm not a fan of Yeezys anyway. I'm a fan of what they what they reselling for. I wish I would have had a retail nike pair so i could sell them for two three thousand dollars but other than that i'm not a fan of these shoes in my hand and the ones that retail so you guys be the judge let me know what's your opinion on these what's your thoughts you know try to give you the best try to give you the best video i can give you you dig what i'm saying i ain't got all that high quality bullshit this is just a simple iphone 5s i will be having a six soon i'm just waiting for them to fix all the gadgets and all the goddamn bullshit with that phone. But, uh, yeah, man. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about these. Are these indeed authentic? Are they 98%ers or are they straight monkey? 
dig what I'm saying? Let's see if I get you. I know it's supposed to have some kind of writing right there. There we go. You see it? See all of that? That's what it has right there. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about these. Are these indeed authentic? As you guys can see, you see the Christmas gifts in the background. This is for the kids around the neighborhood. We give them gifts and stuff. But what you think, guys, ladies? Are these authentic? Or are these some bullshit? Comment down below, man. Me personally, I ain't a fan of them. But I can tell you they differ they're a lot different than the ones I've held before and looked at and shit. So, you know, as far as monkeys, you know, SPs or whatever. These are definitely different. Like I said, I'm not promoting nothing. I'm not telling you guys to go buy these. But my question to you guys, are these authentic? You know what I'm saying? If you got a pair of Yeezys in hand, look at them. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too educated on the shoe. I know they said these were authentic. Comes with a Nike receipt. The receipt don't match up to a Nike receipt. Me, personally, I don't think so. And um, I don't know, man. Comment down below. Like I said, I'm going to have detailed photos of the sides. I'm going to have detailed photos of this. The Roman numeral in the back is real light. You can barely see it. I'm going to show you guys all of that in the end. And I'm going to also put authentic pictures in there as well. So you comment down below. Let me know how you feel about these. Are these indeed authentic? Are they some bullshit? Let me know. This is Rob Dollar. I'm getting out of here, y'all. Peace.